Interstitial lung disease is an umbrella term that encapsulates several hundred different diagnoses. Establishing a specific diagnosis is imperative to counsel patients on their individual clinical course, as well as to select the most appropriate treatment. The keys to establishing a diagnosis include taking a thorough history, including information about medications, environmental exposures, family history, and extrapulmonary symptoms, particularly those relating to autoimmune disease. Laboratory studies for connective tissue disease serologies can also be helpful. High-resolution CT scan is the imaging modality of choice to gain the most information about the radiographic pattern of disease particularly when a pattern of usual interstitial pneumonia, or UIP, is detected. Per Joint Society guidelines, a diagnosis of IPF, or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, can be made with a radiographic pattern of usual interstitial pneumonia without atypical features, along with absence of history or exam findings to suggest an alternate diagnosis. In some cases, a surgical lung biopsy may be pursued to support other data to establish a definitive diagnosis. Multidisciplinary discussion is recommended in the clinical practice guidelines for the diagnosis of ILD, particularly for the diagnosis of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. However, the structure and participants of a multidisciplinary discussion may vary depending on institutional resources and geography. In addition to pulmonologists, Common participants in multidisciplinary discussion include thoracic radiologists and pulmonary pathologists. Also, experts in lung transplantation, rheumatology, and palliative care may be contributors to that discussion. Referral to an established ILD center can be helpful to both patients and providers to coordinate multidisciplinary care. Telehealth can be a means of utilizing multidisciplinary expertise remotely or across greater distances. This video is a part of a series of four animated videos. Check out the other videos here.